What's up YouTube? This is Chris back with a video on my 1984 K5 Blazer. A little bit of history on this truck. This truck was originally a 6.2 diesel. Uh, I bought the truck about six or seven years ago. It had the uh, lift and the 35s on it. Um, it had a 350 Chevy in it when I bought it and um, it had a 308 gear set which is the original set and this thing was a dog it couldn't do 70 75 down on the highway so what i did was is i swapped in a 10 volt front 373 gear uh differential in the front in the back i had a 10 volt 373 and then i swapped it out for a 14 volt that i built um it's got eight lug aluminum diff cover it's a um, Detroit locker I re-geared it to 373 it's got the uh, it's got disc brakes and a functioning e-brake um, so the 350 I had in it was a dog man like I said and so what I did was is uh, I built a 454 for it this is a 30 over 454 forged rods forged pistons uh, cast crank it's got a flat tap it comp cams in it I had the heads redone and what this video is concerning is the correct coolant flow from the engine to the heater core I had the water pump off recently because I had a leak between the water pump and the engine block a lot of this paper gaskets have a tendency of uh, squishing out behind the water pump and the block and the leak and so I uh, took the water pump off because I was having that issue and put a set of Cometic gaskets that I got from Summit Racing, which are much better. As you can see, they didn't really squish out at all. Uh, you can't even see the gasket. And they have like a steel backing and the, and the gasket material on either side. So, like I said, this video is concerning the correct water flow between the engine and the heater core. And after I took this water pump off, I noticed that every time I drain the coolant on this thing, I always have some type of debris inside of the coolant. So I wanted to install a coolant filter. I figured the easiest way to do that is to use the heater core lines and run a um, off-mount oil filter um, in series. So what I had thought was is that the lines, these two lines coming from the water pump were an outport, and they're not their return to the pump so this water from the manifold comes to the pump so does this line so what I had done was and here's my mistake that I had made is that this front line right here I took it to the inlet which is over here side of this off mount filter and I knew there was an issue is because every time I'd start the truck and warm it up I could never get this filter warm or I never had any heat out of my heater core. So what, what I was doing is that I was forcing, if you guys know what an oil filter looks like, most of you guys do, that center big hole is your return. And the outer perimeter holes is your, is your uh, feed line coming to the filter. So what I was doing, thinking that this front line coming from the water pump was a feed line, is I was forcing water through the center port of the filter and then trying to get water or you know like the coolant out of the perimeter holes good filters have a diaphragm which is basically like a one-way check valve and it won't let the uh the water or the oil go the opposite direction so that's why i wasn't getting any water or any coolant into my heater core and that's why it was running so cold and this filter never warmed up so what i did was is that i finally figured out that the water line right here that comes from the manifold is your feed to your heater core so I took this line from the manifold to my inlet out of the filter to my heater core and then back to the water pump and that made the system work exactly like it's supposed to I had no problems with uh, it warming up now I got heat inside my heater core and that was how I messed up and it didn't really make if I'd have been thinking about it correctly I know that the water line the lower radiator hose coming into the water pump pushes water through the block then back through the heads 
from the front from the back to the front and then comes up here by the thermostat so it makes sense that this water would come this way towards the water pump and not this way so this has been a, a pretty good upgrade I hope uh, I'm gonna change this filter here pretty soon you know run it for a few hundred miles and, and change it out and hopefully that takes care of all the debris if you think about um, the reason I wanted to install this is that on my power stroke over here I've got a coolant filter well I don't have an oil cooler that's got coolant running through it but if I have debris in the system and the water pump is spinning it up that is eating away at all your gasket material all your silicone anything that you have set in place like the manifold uh, your intake manifold um, and eventually that's gonna erode stuff away you know it's just like fine paper you know fine sand or fine material in there is eroding things away so I figure by installing this I can um, increase the life of my gaskets so if you guys have any comments or questions let me know talk to you later